What's going on everybody? Brandon Schaefer here. Thank you for joining me for another episode. I want to talk about time of day to paint and what's what are the most ideal times. I think most artists have the general idea that either painting in the morning or painting in the evening are the most ideal times to paint. So what does that mean? So in the morning and in the evening, the sun comes up and the sun sets. This creates longer shadows, more interesting colors, more oranges. There's more orange in the light, which creates more blue in the shadows due to the reflected light of the sky. So painting outside, those are ideal times to paint outside. Early in the morning or late at night, there's something called the magic hour. So there's kind of a window of opportunity before the sun rises and a little bit time after the sun rises same with the sunset so thinking about that most artists may hear that and they go okay so i either paint early in the morning or i paint in the, in the evening but what do i do for the bulk of the day from 10 a.m or 9 a.m to 4 or 5 p.m depending on the time of year what do i do with these hours okay most people may have a day job so it kind of works having that schedule of just painting in the evening or painting early in the morning before you go to work but what if you're retired or what if you want to do this full time or make a living from painting what do you do for the whole day if these times in the middle aren't ideal to paint outside i've been thinking about it lately and kind of exploring going outside and i, I think i think it may be okay to paint at noon outside and i know some people are probably like what that's crazy the shadows are, are directly under trees the shadow there's no shadows it can be boring light there's nothing interesting at noon it depends on what your subject is and what you're trying to paint i mean if you're painting a landscape with a lot of distance and some hills and trees and all kinds of things going on it may be kind of boring uh, it may be more interesting late in the evening or early in the morning that's true doesn't mean you can't paint it midday and just see what you come up with. I think painting at all times of day is important. I think learning to paint in different lights and different scenarios, it doesn't mean you're gonna get a great painting, but you're gonna learn more. I was just walking on a path and there was dappled light coming through the trees. The lighting was great. The shadows were nice. It looked really good. And it was noon, it was around noon. That's the interesting thing is there are things out there that can be interesting at midday. You just have to find them and you have to determine what it is that you want to capture. For me, I love painting dappled light and trees and having the tree with the shade, that being the focal area, the focal point, having the light coming through. That's what I like to paint. Trees, dappled light, boom. So I can paint that almost any time of the day. Of course, it may be more interesting in the evening with the, with the longer shadows, longer dappled light, more interesting things happening. But it doesn't mean that I can't paint it midday. So I just wanted to throw this idea out there and this concept and kind of challenge the notion that you can only paint in the morning and the evening. Because I know we hear that, yeah, those may be the best times where the golden light is and the magic hour. Um, there's actually an app called Magic Hour. If you have an iPhone, check it out. It gives you every day, depending on your location, it automatically finds your location. It gives you a countdown, kind of, okay, you're 10 minutes away from magic hour or you're 10 hours away from the next magic hour and it tells you when magic hour begins, when the sun sets, and then when magic hour ends. And this is, this is great for photography too. Those are the, you know, the magic hour. That's when you wanna shoot photos. If you're doing reference photos for paintings, that's a good time to do it. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and this little rant. I just wanted to, it was something I found interesting because with my plein air series that I did last summer, uh, I painted at all times of the day. The very first video I painted like noon and it was really hot outside. It had to be like 90 to 100 degrees outside and I was melting. I was literally, I was not feeling good, but I got an interesting painting, I think. There was, it was interesting light. There was things happening. Now that same scene could have been probably way more interesting in the evening or in the morning when the shadows were longer and everything, but, but still, I still got a painting out of it still got an experience out of it. That's what it comes down to. It doesn't mean that I'm gonna get this great painting, but I'm going to get a painting and it could turn into a great painting. I hope this just gives you ideas and helps you think about just challenging things that you hear, like these certain rules or guidelines, like 
oh, you shouldn't paint after 10 in the morning. And it's like, well, it depends on your scenery and your subject and what you want to accomplish. Like for me, painting dappled light, you know, anywhere from 10 in the morning, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., those are probably, that's probably a great time to paint dappled light sit in the shade of some trees and paint some dappled light. Take a look at this painting from Monet. This is one of my favorites. It's obviously done during midday, but that didn't stop Monet. He didn't care about a guideline about painting after a certain time of day or waiting to paint till the evening to get this rich light. He decided to find an interesting subject and capture it and capture the effects of light falling onto a woman through the treetops who was reading and I think it, it, I think it turned out to be a great painting and I don't think the time of day ruins the painting. I think it actually adds to the painting. Uh, without this dappled light it would probably be a quite boring painting. So this is just one example showing that you can paint during midday and still create something interesting. It's not about the time of day or the tools you have, it's how you use them and work with them. So it's all about your subject, what you're trying to accomplish, and your scenery. You have to use your brain, you have to think about it. And uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Peace.